Good news everybody, I have partnered with Stereo and they're sponsoring this video. Stereo is a live podcasting app where I get to talk to you guys live. Last week, Caretaker and I went live on Stereo and answered a ton of questions. Hey William, I just had a quick question. What type of engineer are you? Um, I'm a, I'm a bad engineer. From when are you gonna build a new laser cutter to why did you get evicted from the last house? Michael has the schedule of a raccoon. We're gonna go live again. To Saturday the 13th at, at 5 p.m. We'll be talking about whatever questions you ask. Do you have any plans yes. to rebuild the laser? Uh, bruh. Bruh, I've had plans to build, rebuild the laser for like three years, but it's so much work. Find me at Stereo.com slash William Osman. The link is in the description. And thank you again to Stereo for sponsoring this video. Today on the William Osman channel, we're going to blow up my friend's car. He asked me very nicely to blow up his car for him, and so I said, okay. To be perfectly clear, it's a 118 scale die cast car. Fire the hole! It's to trick people on the internet. It's really easy to trick people on the internet because they're idiots. Not you or me. We're very smart, very, very intelligent. We're talking people who think $49.99 is cheaper than $50. Who believe viral videos like the eagle picking up the small child. People who tried charging their phone after watching the video of a guy putting his iPhone into a microwave. I want to trick people too. I want to trick them into thinking we blew up a real car. And if we pick a nice car, like a Tesla, they'll get really mad. And when they get really mad, it means we did a good job. You know, back with old movies, they used to use scale models for demolition, like in Die Hard or Ghostbusters. They built small scale versions of what they wanted to destroy because it's too expensive to destroy the real thing. I want to do that. What can I get for you? Uh, hello, could I, get, could I get an ice cream cone? Two ice cream cones. Plus, I can't even afford to blow up a real Tesla. Is it even legal to blow up a car? Why is the government telling me what I can and can't do with my life? I thought this was America. You want a nuggie? Nuggie? Go get the nuggie. Before we start, how about a very important safety message brought to you by Mr. Bones. You, you shouldn't follow anything you see in this video. If you do this and, and it goes wrong, I told you not to do it. You might end up looking like me. I'm all bones. I'm all bones. How do you think I turned into bones? I died. I killed myself. That sounds bad. That sounds bad. I didn't, it wasn't on purpose. I accidentally killed myself. There's a couple of videos online that show you what happens if you play with explosives and hurt yourself, and you should definitely go watch those because you will blow your hands off. And there's videos of people blowing their hands off. Yes, his, his wrists look like spaghetti. His wrists just look like spaghetti. I think that everybody should show their kids these videos. You have no arms. Yeah, that was, that was a battle by accident. That was different. I'm gonna do a demonstration for you guys. None of this is like safe, but none of it really is also that dangerous. He can be here as long as he wears his safety glasses. Here. No, okay, very smart. A little tiny pile of black powder and a flame. Nothing special, nothing fantastic. When you contain that small pile of black powder, you get a, an explosion, you get a pop, like a firecracker. All we have to do is figure out how do we blow up a... Okay, no, I can't do that. Pyrotechnics? To get any information, I have to go buy a book. I haven't read a book in 10 years. I'm not a terrorist. I'm a scientist. I'm not gonna do anything bad. I just wanna have fun. I figured it out and I didn't need no stinking book. I used my own brain power. Three neurons. I need this. I have created what I like to call pyrotechnic ignition source or pit. Connect the green wire to the gray wire. Connect the black wire to the gray wire. We're gonna need a bigger pit. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, that smells like eggs. The explosion is not anywhere big enough for the die cast car. Oh yeah, this is the die cast car. It cost $170. We're gonna have to make something so much bigger to get this thing to actually pop. After a whole lot of experimentation, I present to you the full process and methodology for creating a significantly bigger piss. The first thing you're going to need are some little One. Two. We're gonna be using hot glue to hold everything together. A little bit more hot glue. And that is how you make a small pyrotechnic special effect fireball shooter. We're gonna use a beaker to measure out a little bit of not Gatorade. Three, two, one. 
<laughs> that was awesome. The base blew up. I was hoping the base would stay on. We want to burst through to the fuel, not for the fuel to go flying up. So I think if we look at the ceiling, let's not look at our failures. Let's only look at our success. I'm gonna try to explain this without making a tutorial. The black powder sits at the bottom of the container and the fuel above it. When the powder ignites, it propels the fuel upward, atomizing it and igniting it, creating a fireball. I didn't animate the fireball because it's two in the morning. This is my friend Alex Ernst, mostly known for being friends with David Dobrik and we're going to use his white Tesla. So this here is Michael Reeves' friend, uh, <laughs> William. We need to find model making materials to build the miniature set to make the car look scale. Let's literally drive to the beach and put sand in it. For $3? You want to drive to the beach for $3? No, this isn't even enough. We'd have to buy at least eight of these. And apparently we also need to buy a pair of pants. Here you see a wild Alex Ernst shopping for pants. I don't tell people what my pant size is. It's recording. Take a video, picture. You, re you put it on video. Which one did you pay more for, the model one or the full size one? Uh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> now what we're gonna do is the first forced perspective where Alex interacts with this car. So we need to make asphalt, so we're gonna use sandpaper. We're gonna line it up like it's in the parking spot. We're gonna put the camera down here and we just need to add enough asphalt to make it look like it's in the right spot. So that's what I'm trying to do right now is, ah, oh God. So if Alex stands on this line, kind of where the back door would be. This whole thing works pretty well up until I start moving closer to the camera. And then it just starts getting weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder. Now I'm like a giant and uh, your brain really wants to convince itself that things are okay. So we're gonna take our fireball effect and we're gonna shove that into the back seat of the car. And then we're gonna close the door. I feel like I'm on the like doing bomb squad stuff, but like I put the bomb there. We have one, two, three, four different charges we're gonna set off at the same time. Trunk, frunk, uh, and then the underside of the car, and then the fireball to blow everything out. And uh, I don't know, this is it. This is basically the best I think we can do in the time that we have with the abilities that we were given. Switching to high frame rate, so we're doing 120 frames a second. We're gonna hook the charges up. Three, two, one. Let's watch that back really quick. I think that's gonna look really good. Oh, that looks, that looks pretty good though. The roof is broken. Um, the doors, they're all just singed and they popped open a little bit. Welcome to editing. This is where I spend 90% of my day making YouTube videos is in front of a computer looking at clips of all the science I did and trying to figure out how to put it together in the correct order and the right pacing to make the video good. I just wanna do science, I don't have to do the editing and I don't even know if there's anyone who can help me edit because all the other YouTubers, they like, even Mark Rober edits his own videos and I just sit in front of this computer all day editing. Sorry about that. We filmed our explosion at 120 frames per second because when we slow it down, it makes the physics feel bigger. I'm gonna add a little bit of camera shake using some code. I'm gonna add a white parking line in and the blinkers for when the horn is going off. So a lot of people don't realize how important sound is, but if you have a video that's low quality with good sound, that's okay. If you have a video that's This is what the original audio sounds like for the explosion. And this is what the new sound effects sound like. We even went back and recorded the car alarm in the exact location so we could get it to sound right. And now we're going to show you the video that we filmed to convince the internet that Alex Ernst became a millionaire and blew up his car in celebration. I'm a millionaire now, guys. And you know what happens when I'm a millionaire? I can do crazy things like blow up my Tesla Model 3 because I can do that. You need your safety glasses. I need my safety glasses. Take this, take the white wire and the black wire in each hand. Do I do anything with this one? No. Okay. I can't believe they're letting me do the detonator. <laughs> of course they are. I'm a millionaire, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> oh, Just okay. kidding. So I'm gonna blow up my uh, Tesla Model 3 and get a brand new one. I'm gonna get the plaid one, I think, actually. You're gonna, to pay, you're gonna pay for your own Tesla this time? Yeah, <laughs> shut up. Fire in the hole! Why does this stupid thing come up? What stupid right. thing? I feel like I'm doing tech support for my grandmother right now. Oh. Anyway, hello Alex, we have successfully fooled Twitter. All of your Twitter followers are stupid and believe that we blew the car up. Jay Schlatt, I would have taken the car, Alex. You actually did it, why? Ian is an idiot too. <laughs> I was expecting some good editing when I saw the smoke and flame. 
but it was real. Go to the next comment. Let's go. Wow, Elon Musk, right? <laughs> Who even? That's not even Elon Musk. Um, I legit can't tell if this is a joke or not. Get more views giving it away to a poor person than blowing up a perfectly good car that is useless. It's written on, it's a written on Tesla bought real cheap for theater. This is me having a, a, a stroke after reading the comment. But rather than blow it up like most millionaires, okay, that doesn't happen, but you could have given it away. Or better yet, sold it and gave it to eight people. I suspect he opened all the doors and turned on the alarm and then someone is inside with a flamethrower and smoke machine. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of person that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Whether this is real or fake or not, this is why suddenly rich people lose all their money fast. Because <laughs> they go and blow up cars. This is my favorite one. Cute. Show your privilege during a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these kind of comments. I just love it. Why did you take it down? I'm not talking about a therapist. I mean, uh, a lawyer. One person that comments on this video can win this broken thing. One man's trash is another, another man's, man's burden. Trash. It's a burden. It's just trash. Trash is a burden. It's All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. It's cold and I'm hungry. Come here, Alex. 